Hello and welcome to Eye on Hong Kong. This is Herminder. Hi, this is Key. And this is Glacier. And Glacier is here as our guest from the group Keyboard Frontline. And uh, this is our 11th episode, so let's get right to it, shall we? Uh, Glacier, thank you for being here. Oh. Thank you for inviting. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you are a high school student? No, I just graduated from high school. Oh, Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, would you please uh, tell us more about your group? My group, uh, Keyboy Frontline, is a group that uh, de- uh, devotes most of its time to, uh, to fight for user rights and on the internet. For example, we're now fighting for uh, u- uh, we are now uh, fighting the copyright law amendment mm. raised by the government because we believe that it's uh, there is uh, not enough protection for derivative work. And after this issue, I think we'll we'll go on and work for work uh, on a topic of right to be forgotten to mm. continue to protect users' right on the internet. I see. Is it because uh, your family is so poor that you that they cannot send you to travel, and then you have so much time to do this kind of stuff? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Uh, these two are <laughs> friends, and that's why you're going to get banter like this. By the way, why? Why you have so much time to do this kind of stuff? No, actually, I don't have much time, but I have to do it because no one is willing to. Um, well, that's I guess you, you need someone to do do this kind of stuff anyway. And so. it's important because around the world, there's uh, all types of copyright law being written and passed as oh it's cyber security it's for the children la 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 it's to protect the hollywood industry it's to protect the music industry but then when you really go into the details it's really to shut down you know without uh without a court order your website and mm-hmm. there's no way to fight it so it's a good thing that there are groups like keyboard frontline fighting for this now when you said Derivative work. What does that mean exactly? Derivative work means uh, something you cre- you re uh, you recreate based on an underlying work, which uh, it's under the copyright law protection. So, uh, for example, uh, if I took um, a poster of a movie and I p- and I used Photoshop and key C Y S U I Lang's face on the poster, that is a derivative work. Right, and <laughs> and you guys had a a really funny. Poster up on your Facebook page yes, today was, with uh, designed by our designer. It was done by you guys. Uh, some of them, some of them, like the Galax, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy parody yes, that I just is. saw. I think that one is created by our designer. And it was a uh, oh, freaking I, hilarious he, when I. Oh, I see. You guys have a design team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, was, it was a good job. <laughs> and if anybody wants to see it, they can go to their Facebook page, Keyboard Frontline, and um, okay. So you guys protect all derivative work. Now, how does the copyright law, uh, how how can it affect derivative work in all types of parody? You mean the current one? The current the, amendment the current, that they want. The uh, current amendment bill. Yeah. Uh, it only allows uh, s- a satire, caricature, parody, and pastiche, and also quotation, which is not enough to protect derivative work, as uh, most of these exemptions require, requires sense of humor to get away from the law which means you have to your work has to be funny or it has to be uh, hilarious so that you can get an exemption which means if you want to do a derivative work seriously you will be in trouble you have to spend right. the rest of your life in jail not the rest of your life okay most of your life in jail <laughs> should you we die, keep doing it no right. if you die young yeah. then okay. you spend the right. rest of your life in jail All right when when you say that it, it has to be funny Mm. Or a parody. So if I'm doing something serious on a serious political matter, I can actually be sued yes. under this amendment. Uh, I wouldn't say so because uh, they still have the exemption for the uh, commenting, uh, commenting on, on current, current affair. affair. Here's an example. Let's say I take the logo of a government department or a political party. All right. Mm. And I change it in a way that it's a parody, mm-hmm. right? So I've seen some of these shirts on some people, but I make money off of it by selling these shirts. Mm. Would I be liable? I think that's an issue that uh, is quite complicated because it's no longer under the copyright. Be- one of the things is about trademark because usually they they have registered their, their, their logo in it as a trademark. So mm. uh, it's, it's a trademark infringement. It's no longer copyright infringement here. And uh, so they can still sue you uh, even after the, after they pass this uh, 
build, amendment built, amendment built uh, then you get the exemption from the copyright, but you don't get the exemptions in the trademark ordinance. But isn't that going against freedom of speech? I would say so. Yes. <laughs> right. But I, I, for, I think probably uh, you will understand that uh, in in US they have the fair use uh, doctrine. Right. And uh, it also applies to the trademark. But Which I wish we had so we can use a little bit of copyright music on the show. But oh, yeah, go yeah. ahead. But we don't have a uh, fair fair use here. Right. And fair use allows you to to make money out of your derivative work too. You're right. So that's yeah. good. So yeah. why why is nobody pushing for that law to come come in instead of just amending this copyright law? Why don't you guys push forward that law? <laughs> so why? <laughs> uh, because fair use is it's it's way too. Can is I can I? Fr- it's it's really too too new for Hong Kong. It's it does not it does not fit the Hong Kong law. So yeah, in a way, law, is because it? we follow England. Yeah, we're mm-hmm. using fair dealings in Hong Kong. I see. But and we actually uh, uh, we actually raise out something new to the uh-huh. government. And but what is that? Uh, it's a user generated content exemption. Okay. We we call it UGC. Uh-huh. Uh So after satisfying a few conditions, which is non profit making, mm-hmm. uh, not substituting the original work, and uh, enough acknowledgement, and then you can actually uh, get an exemption. So actually, you can do all types of. Again, you said non-profit work, but I think yes. again, I I I find that very scary because even in my mind, I might want to parody something of a certain lo- like I see right now people putting up with the recent food scandal, mm. Ronald McDonald as the yeah, Joker yeah. with the M sign yeah. flipped upside down. Now, if I want to put that on a shirt, I'd be infringing on copyright. Uh, I'm sorry, trademark. I, I believe so, yes. but uh, you you still have to. Um, so that's the problem. But I'm I'm trying to express my feelings about McDonald's through a shirt and, and making money. We got to cover the cost of the shirt. You know, of course, you might make money for your organization, but whatever. See, but when you say covering the cost, then where non-profit making, probably you can argue that it's not profit making. It's just covering the cost. So there are too many. You know which line do you cross? Yeah. I think yes. this these types of laws, personally, these types of laws are going to come in, and mm. people are going to be confused and scared to start something, do something, and then they'll it's, be like, "It's the chilling effect." That the chilling effect, correct? Yeah. I, I think it's uh, one of the reason why the uh, your organization working with uh, the Copyright Alliance now, and uh, they propose which uh, you're part of, uh, yeah, yeah, and then. Uh, we are actually proposing that uh, uh, apart from the uh, UGC exemption, then that we also want the fair dealings exemption. Under the fair dealings exemption, then uh, is a civil exemption and the criminal exemption. So uh, even if they um, s- give an example uh, of some, uh, for example, I, yeah. I I use melody of a song. For example, I right. use an Eason Chen song and okay. I put on new lyrics right. uh, for the song as a parody uh, or as just 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 nothing. Just maybe nothing. I want to uh, I want to uh, m- maybe I make my boyfriend upset. I want to cheer him up. I can do such a thing. Okay. And then I won't be sued. But under the current amendment bill raised by the government, I will be shu- uh, sued by be- be- because of this. Because I write a new lyrics for the song and sing it and put it on YouTube. Because it's not parody. It's not satire. It's not. It's not commenting on current affairs. And it's not funny. So. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. See, this is the problem with copyright law: is that it can be used so much to stifle free speech, and um. At the I same agree. time, yeah. Well, also, you can't stop. You cannot stop people from distributing illegally or whatever, and then you use copyright law. Kim dot com is a perfect example. You stop him from doing one thing, you start something else. Somebody else starts something else. When they had Napster, they moved into something else. Now yeah. it's BitTorrent. I mean, then it'll go into something else. You cannot stop this. I think that the that the uh, copyright holders need to find a way to make their content better or find uh, a different way to distribute their 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 content and make money off of it that's where iTunes came in and kind of changed the industry where 99 cents you can or or 8 dollars hong kong you can Buy, down the, buy it, buy the song if you like it, and mm. and support the artist even though the artist only makes 7 cents so i don't know how you're supporting them with that but um <laughs> They need to stop with using copyright as a way to protect their profit, using government to protect their monopoly. A lot of companies do this, and this is how they're That's doing it. That's actually what they're doing. Exactly. When the government first said, okay, we are, we are renewing the copyright law. 
And then it also benefits government because when if, if they have certain things they don't like, they can come after you. Now, let's say my website hosts something they say is a under the amendment. If if my website hosts something that is considered trademark, will they send me a warning letter first, or will they shut down my website? Ah, um, because in the states, in the states with copyright, they shut down your website. That's it. So it's and it takes forever to get it back online. I think now is uh, we, they have they under the current bill they have the safe harbor um, uh, scheme okay. that uh, the the uh, the OSP can send OSP, a notice yes. to so you it's first. Offer, so uh, online service provider. Right, uh, online service provider. Okay. And then they will send you the send you a notice saying that oh your 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 website probably with some um, copyright infringement stuff and then you have take to, it down. But they will take it down first. But can is there an avenue for me to complain? Yes, okay. there will be. There, there will be. Uh, there, there is already a, a tribunal, the copyright tribunal. And who co- who consists of this tribunal? The copyright people. Copyright office, <laughs> government people. <laughs> so it's skewed. It's not really independent. Um, I, I would say that they are in, independent because they, they are not uh, from the copyright side. They are not from the user side. They are independent mm. from the government, just like the judicial. Uh, government's independent? Funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, all right. So bottom line this is a dangerous uh, amendment that's coming through you guys want to fight it and defeat it or amend it to a point amend it because okay. it's it's true that Hong, uh, because in the current law actually doing any kind of dirty work uh, it's already illegal hmm. because the current law states that uh, it's uh, no matter what you do it's illegal already so uh, at least uh, so it's it's uh, of vital importance to renew it as soon as possible, but yeah. not in not in the way the government proposed. But uh, I think in the year two thousand eleven, that uh, the, when the bill first came out, uh, there were no exemption. And uh, what did you guys do at that time in the year two thousand eleven? Uh, two thousand eleven, uh, I, I was uh, we actually we pointed fingers at the government officials, saying that oh, you should not do that, you should not do that, and then everyone got crazy. There is like ah, this is this is the online at uh, Article Twenty Three. So oh, people yeah. gone mad, and then okay. If anybody doesn't know Article Twenty Three, it's the national security legislation. Yeah. Uh, yes, and then everybody got mad, and then the government has said, okay, I'll, I'll I will like uh, shelf it, shelf, shelf it, the bill. Yes, like, we'll do it later, and then they do it this year. Yeah, and, and then, then this year they came up with uh, some exemption proposal, and uh, which, which is better. Yeah, which is actually better, but uh, we're not very happy with the. It's not enough, but it's better yeah. than nothing. Yeah, and when does it come up for a vote? Uh, now, what is the current state? This is in the second reading. Second reading. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, when does it continue after the legislative council's back in session? Yes. In October. Yes, October. Okay. Mm. All right. So, uh, how? Uh, wh- why did you get involved in this? Why? Why? Why, why start? Why you don't have a boyfriend or something? Why you have so much? <laughs> oh <time>? Lord! <laughs> <laughs> why? What happens? Because to you? <laughs> uh, because when I was in my form five, I have to do my uh, liberal studies project IES. Then I choose the topic about derivative work, and I and I um, I uh, I met someone from I met the head of the organization Keeper Trend Line. And then, oh, okay. And, and you're the secretary of yes, Keyboard Frontline. and I found it. I'm very interested in this topic, and then I joined the organization and the work until now. Where, where, did, where did you meet those people? Uh, those the 1st strangers. of July, March. Oh, I see. You just joined the march, and then you just talk to strangers? and. No, actually, I know, I know, I know a friend that is a <laughs> member see. of Keyboard Frontline, and he introduced <laughs> me to everyone. I see. <laughs> I don't like that look on your face. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> this interview girl? is getting very strange. <laughs> what young girl talking to strangers on the street? <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Bye. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, how can people get involved? In okay, they can they can uh, message our fa- uh, Facebook page, and you can be our volunteer. And different, uh, we will we will uh, we will hold some exhibitions afterwards, so you can come and help, or you can join our committee, which will you will have to read a lot of papers and things and do and uh, attend our meeting. So if you are interested, please inbox our page, Keyboard Frontline. We need more people. Your Facebook page, Keyboard yes. Frontline. All right, uh, and uh, how how are are you, are you a nonprofit? 
Non-profit making. Non-profit making. So how, I don't get paid <laughs> for doing all those. Oh, my God. You're it's <laughs> a noble cause. We're not paid here either. <laughs> so you're, you're worse don't feel than so cheap. bad. You're worse than shit. You're free of charge. <laughs> so what are we doing? Well. We're shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well. Um, all right. So, you're not, so how, how do you uh, – can people make donations? Or? Yes, they can make donations. Of course they can make donations. Through your Facebook page? Uh, oh, you can contact yeah. us and then we'll arrange meetings with you and then you can give us money straight away. And would then you, you can go. You can just give, leave the money and then you can go. Afterwards. Would you accept money from Jimmy Lai? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I no ask. comment. <laughs> we don't, I think you guys should disclose the source. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Don't All right. tell anyone. Mm. All right, so uh, you know, for our listeners, uh, you can uh, go onto the Facebook page, Keyboard Frontline. May I please beg that you have some English content on your? Uh, okay, actually, we uh, <laughs> all of the members know English, so if you, you but, but if you but, want but us but to, because it's a local local organization. I know it's a, okay, well, well local try, two okay. languages here are official. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll try. I'll just try. a little, <laughs> just just a little, so people can okay, keep so up with your copyrights. Okay, so if you in English, we'll reply because we all know English, so it's fine. <laughs> And check if out. If you want to make donations, it's also fine to use English. As then then as there'll be English. Then yeah, there'll yeah. be English. Make donations first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make a big donation. <laughs> then you might see some English generated content. All right. Yes. And uh, check out their page. They got some really funny parody posters up, uh, especially with the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's there's C.Y. Leong, uh, Carrie, Carrie Lam, Lam and Paul Chan. Yes. And Andy Chan. Yes. Andy Jung, oh, that's yeah. who the other person is. Yeah. And, the, and is Nung well, Sing? Yes, I yeah. think there is Nung Sing. That's the five. Mm. The Andy Jung. I was wondering who was the uh, raccoon. Oh, you, you can <laughs> recognize him easily with his bald head, right? <laughs> so Nung Sing's bald. Oh, right. They're all bald. No, Siwa is not yeah. yet. Siwa is not yet. And Carrie Lam. And Carrie Lam. could be a toupee, <laughs> but that's right. different. <laughs> it's a woman. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, Maybe uh, she's uh, wearing a wig. Uh, yeah. That's what it's I just said. Too. It could be a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> a very nice one. Uh, thank you, Glacier, for uh, being on our show. And uh, would you like to stick around for the rest of the yes, show? Yes, of course. All right, great. Cool name, by the way. Sounds like a Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like Glacier versus Scorpion. Yeah, or Skywalker, <laughs> then you'll be sued for the copyright. <laughs> there you go. See, I, when I say copyright run amok, there's, that's one of the reasons. Somebody wanted to use the middle name Skywalker and yeah. they were refused. By the government. By the government because it's a, because copyright. It's a copyright infringement. Wow. Give me a break. Yeah. So if I copyright my own name, if somebody else wanted to have their name as Herminder, uh, no, you can't there? copyright that. Why not? Is there? <laughs> because you don't need to register as a copyright, and it's not copyrighted by nature. And even if you want to trademark, register it as a trademark, it will be refused because it's too, too um. Come on. Come on, and <laughs> everybody calls it Hamender in Hong Kong. Oh yeah, everybody has that name. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, it's as common as like Wong or or something, right? Yeah. Are you starting to be racist now? No, <laughs> Wong. What do you mean by Wong? Is what that, about you say? Hey, hey, hey! Don't, 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 don't be a Democrat where everything is racist just because you don't okay. agree with me. No, okay. Uh, well, that was very informative. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on to this week's news. I guess the biggest news is the House news closing. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, their reasons – well, the, uh, the owner said that their reasons were uh, white terror and their funding wasn't uh, sound even though they had 300,000 weekly – what's it, daily? I think it was daily – or weekly? I think weekly. Weekly. Sorry, weekly. 30,000 for a day? Wow. Yeah, it's a <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 will, I will work for Yeah. House <laughs> news. And, 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 they, and they had to close citing, you know, political reasons, low revenue. And even though they had the uh, hits uh, to, to continue, they had to close down. I mean, it closed down suddenly. I was you shocked. Know, just yeah, shocked. Yeah. Just click, gone. There was just a letter up saying that. But that, uh, le- but that letter is in Chinese. Well, using Google Translate, <laughs> and then eventually Ow. SCMP uh, uh, did, did the job of uh, of uh, going through. But do you read the the the, uh, the articles in in House News? I have to. But <laughs> I have that's to in keep Chinese. Up. To Google Translate, again? it sucks. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. so some some of the words are like okay. I'm, I kind of understand what's going on, but the I have no choice. Is... It is really off, yeah. right? I, I quite like House News because. But I, they also had some English contributors like. Oh, uh, right, right, right. Evan Fowler and uh, Paul Zimmerman. 
So yeah. you know, there are reasons to have. It. They were trying to be the Huffington Post of of Hong Kong, but again, even Huffington Post has big money behind it, like AOL and George Soros. Mm. They were they were strictly uh, funded by advertising. And in my opinion, in today's world, you can't. That's really unsustainable for a news media organization. You need to find multiple revenues of uh, multiple avenues of revenue, yeah, not I, just advertising. That's why I'm not so um, surprised actually by the closing of the house news because they don't really. It doesn't sound like uh, they they really run it like a business. They only like uh, it's more put, like an NGO. Yeah, more than a business. They said their bills were six hundred thousand a month. Six hundred. Thousand dollars a month, and yeah. wow. they can't. They can't always uh, depend on these uh, donations or, or or from the from some people, some big like Jimmy Lai. Like, well, no, well, like no. That. I'm just saying they didn't even have that. You know, it was strictly through advertising revenue, and and some of these were businessmen, so they might have been putting their own money into it. Mm. But then they were also citing that, you know, they they weren't exactly being specific, but they were basically saying that they're under pressure. Oh. To close oh, those political political campaign. pressure, but from whom? That that we don't know. That uh, they didn't say to, but uh, I, I just you can't always say that is a white terror when when uh, when news agents closing down without any evidence of that. I'm quite well. Uh, what's his name? Uh, How about or- when or- uh, Orient Daily closes? Is it white terror too? <laughs> but no, 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 so, so, so is it is it is it is it right to say that when the pro establishment establishment is attacked, people say that they deserve it, but then when the pro democracy is attacked, it's always <laughs> it's white, white terror. terror. Yeah. yeah. So do they have a point? Mm. Because what I see is bad uh, business model. It seems so. Yes, it I seems to me it's like more like model. that. They, they don't have much advert. Advertising, yeah, but, exactly. But the advert is actually annoying, even though they don't have much. It always pop out when I, you read the news. I actually forcing the, you to click on it, kind thing, of thing. The thing about this thing is that uh, I don't really click on the link. I, Nobody oh, does. I only read it. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let it pop out yeah, exactly. I only read it on Facebook when they post all the whole articles. And that it. doesn't have a revenue model yet. That yeah. that's the, you know that that people can work with. But, so, but uh, you can't have a business model on Facebook. It's no, it's, it's next to no, you impossible. Can, you can force them, and you it's can, a good, it's a good way to get word of mouth going, but it's not exactly the best way to mm. get your business going. You know, um, it's good place to get you know put information promotions up. Yeah, but it's not like click here, you make money. We'll exactly. make money. You know, it's not going to happen. It's just like Google, when when you when you, when you put on the, a video on YouTube, then every click, then and it will count, and then uh, it, they they will also share the profit with you. But but Facebook, uh, they don't have this kind of model like that. You can right. buy likes from them. You can buy whatever. You can Facebook's going to make money. Yeah, but you cannot. Facebook's going to make money. They won't share the profit with you. But then, see the the, the th- and the good thing about f- a free market is that others are now starting to yeah. take over their space. And the recent one was called uh, Citizens uh, News. Yeah, it's yeah. a new thing. Hong Kong I- Citizens News, and they're saying that half of their they're going to be a print and online, free print and online edition, where half of it is business news and the other half is going to be freelance writers and mm. bloggers, which kind of, which kind of puts them more away from being, you know, right into the face of the pro establishment, saying, you know, these are our writers, we're paying them. You know, they can just say, well, it's just an opinion piece. We can't really control what people say. Mm. You know, it's like SCMP. Anybody can, you know with some credibility can write an article for it, right? Um, but is that copping out? Is that saying, well, you know, we don't, we're too afraid to be right in the face of government? Mm. Or is this a good business model? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know uh, <laughs> I, I just think that uh, it's actually when one, f- one falls, then other other actually emerging more like a local press and a, what else? Like uh, in, media, times, in media, times and uh, I on Hong Kong. I on Hong Kong, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, the one thing is that we don't really have uh, enough uh, English uh, online media. Yet. We don't have English media period in my opinion and now it's being further killed with the RTHK's uh, shenanigans yeah. mm. where they're not renewing the contract of a wonderful Hong Kong English media veteran Gary Pollard mm-hmm. 
I hope I'm saying that last name correctly. It's Pollard or Pollard. I'm not sure, but apologize. Um, <laughs> and they're not renewing his contract. They're just saying, you're too old. Get out. But you're over yeah, 60. They're changing the policy that once yeah. you meet the age. Is, you're over 60. He's yeah, 61. But what, what was the policy before? You, you can stay. Uh, they can they renew would, it. They yeah, renew, renew it. it. I think it was yearly renewal. I, I don't quote me on that. But, but I think that's renew- happened uh, already after 1997. I, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's really. But in the last five. This is a site. Francis Moriarty was another uh, uh, veteran of Hong Kong English media. Mm-hmm. He, his same excuse you're too old, get out. Yeah. And both of them have expressed. You're too old, get out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get out. <laughs> I'm the oldest one here. Um. Both of them have expressed a desire to continue. <laughs> have expressed a desire to move on, mm-hmm. uh, to not move on. I'm sorry, to to continue with their with their, uh, you know, producing and everything. And I have to speak for the, the younger generation because if these old people they don't get out, then what is what about the chances yeah. for the young people? You know what the problem is. You understand that seriously? <laughs> <laughs> get out! <laughs> you know what the problem is though. Nobody's replacing them. That's true. That's that's where you know this is a this is a campaign to get rid of English media. And 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 as Mr. Uh, uh, Pollard said, I think on his Facebook page, is uh, they're not going to renew a highly successful show in conversation that they just uh, uh, mm-hmm. released on RTHK. It, it it has been one of the most successful English language uh, Hong Kong media p- programming out of the gate. It was successful pretty much mm-hmm. because the. Quality of the programming was high. The interview skills were great. It was a really good program. Hmm. And now that after this uh, last episode, that's it. But There's if, no. If you support the free market, uh, uh, in fact, in Hong Kong, they're government funded. That's not free market. But then, it's, wouldn't it? They also have to decide. Oh, if we don't get oh, so much audience, then why? Why should we? Really Again, highly successful. Continue? In, it's a government what, funded that? thing uh, well, not everything they're going to put on is making a profit actually they're not even advertising so there is no profit true true RDHK does not make a profit they should close it down <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not for profit. government funded stuff at all I'm mm. free market right I, I think the market should take care of it but yeah. since we have it you know might as well have RDHK it. is actually a public broadcaster yeah, yes. yeah but it's completely funded by the government yes. yeah yeah so, so it's it, actually a department, a department of the government, which sure. does not obey the government's orders. Right. Mm. So what the, what happens is, and then the, Gary Puller also uh, produces in uh, the Pulse. That's another English language current affairs program. Mm. Really good. You know, it, it. This is the only media avenues that some people that don't uh, that you know cannot read or write or speak Cantonese. No, you can read. You can read and write the Yan. Supposedly, <laughs> the, yeah. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong Yan. Yan. We'll get to that story later. You guys are making fun of my like one Chinese character I can write. Ming Nan Yan. He's <laughs> <laughs> cute. Yes, it's so cute. Uh, <laughs> see what I have to deal yeah. with people. Um, <laughs> no, uh, my point is, is that there seems to be a purge of English language media going on in this city. I, I now agree. it's t- now it's really obvious. Yeah, it's so obvious that like like after 1997, the, all these uh, ch- uh, government officials they have to pass the Cantonese or the they call it the language test, and then uh, all these. Uh, Remember experts. mother tongue teaching <laughs> that completely killed Hong Kong's English standard for a whole generation. I mean, bad. Mm. First it was bad, then it got really bad. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you that's, know? True. Yeah, that's true. for a whole generation. And ho- it's starting to get back up there, you know. Mm. A glacier is actually, you know, giving me some hope, you yeah. know, because they're in you the sense. You speak really English, please, <laughs> oh, <shut up>. right, <laughs> guys? Yeah, can you understand us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Hello. Um, oh. Can I speak in the Queen's accent? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he called. Oh <laughs> Listening outside. <laughs> You're dead. You're really dead. <laughs> Lee will get you after the show. Um, yeah. So, and then see, this is why you know we had the idea mm. to start this this podcast. You know. Because we're trying to fill a to void save, to save the Hong Kong English standards. Get something. Yeah. Oh. You know, you use it. We got to start somewhere. It. We're only we're only up uh, what two and a half months, mm. eleven episodes in. You know, we got about two hundred plus downloads a week. Mm. It's a start, and we started from like literally ten <laughs> downloads <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from our first episode. 
we're up to 200 plus and we're, we're you know most of our audience is obviously in Hong Kong and our second biggest market is the states Oh. Wow. Don't ask me why. I don't know All right. But, you know, I Did want... Did you buy, buy downloads from iTunes? Can we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dude, can we? No, no, no. We don't buy likes. We don't buy uh, anything. anything. Yeah. yeah. This is all organic. And I hope, you know, more and more people support it. But, see, th- th- and then we want to bring on interesting people, activists like, mm. like yourself. And, 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 you know, we have somebody coming in next week from the House News to discuss what's been going on. I mean, we need more avenues for people to discuss what's been going on in the city because until yeah. they change the basic law, Hong Kong is an official language in, in, in the city. And it is one of the things that makes Hong Kong very unique from the rest of China. True. Because we know China, we know it. Mm, we, we, because we don't speak Mandarin. <laughs> because we have English as a as a <laughs> oh, that's official language, that's and that and and oh. that that is a big selling point for a lot of multinationals to set up shop here. But the, t- the oh. English standard here, it's really are we really qualified as an international city? Uh, no, I not not <laughs> it, it's steadily declining, and then more and more and more and more is going to be taken away from mm. RDHK uh, because RDHK under their you know under under any broadcasting license, you must have one English channel 24 hours. I, 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 and you know what RDHK has on RDHK 33? I don't have television reception at my home. I'm too really? poor. No, I don't. I don't really have it. So you don't watch someone about Despectable Me Too, I just watched at your house last uh, Monday. What happened to that? <laughs> <laughs> That's now TV. <laughs> you just subscribe to the Playboy channel. No, I'm just, uh, RDHK 33, you know what it is? Yes, I know. I, I got it I at, at, at home. What is it? I don't know, but I watch it once <laughs> you only. Know, Meaning you don't watch it. Uh, it's, it's an RTHK channel. Yes, yeah, so replay and replay and replay. It's CCTV documentary. What? CCTV documentary channel. It's I, in English. I thought it was from China. Yeah. Wow. What CCTV. The? What yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> you can swear, but we got Ron to beep, beep it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only a girl don't speak it foul language. <laughs> I did not swear. I didn't say what there. We got we. That's the that's their answer to a twenty four hour English channel is to get somebody else's. Well, I actually, I li- I actually listened to the Pulse before. And there you go. The for Pulse my, for my English. Uh, practice of listening and was it a good show them. yes it's good yeah and I now they want to kill it. that because mm. I'm because Gary Pollard is one of the producers and I'm and the last show that they went uh, they had before they go on their summer hiatus you had you saw Stephen Vaughn saying God willing we'll be back in October mm. when normally I think it was back in September but they, they'll be back hopefully back in October and in, in conversations now in limbo I mean and then there's the works that's another one that, that mm. that's an art show that might be killed what is going to fill this gap? You guys. I, uh, you know, I'm not big enough here. It's big enough to, to, to be gap. honest. To be honest. <laughs> to be honest, I just hope that this podcast can be one of the things that can fill in the gap. Mm. That's why I'm happy about stuff like uh, <laughs> Real Hong Kong News. Mm. You know, that, that uh, uh, Facebook page. Mm. Uh, do you up, like the news there? You well, what they do is just take Chinese news and and translate, translate it. Google translate it. No, 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 no. They, they, they really translate it. They really it. translate oh, it. Not the whole article, but the gist of it. And if you want the rest, you know, they have another website called uh, Google Hong Google Kong. Translate news. No, no, <laughs> Hong Kong columns translate, and somebody literally translates the entire oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. columns. And then we've got uh, that. We got in EJ Insight, uh, yeah. Economic Journal's new. Uh, I quite like that one. I do too. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. a good. It's a good. See, they're they're new they markets more more opening. Right yeah. But I really hope that they don't shut down quality programming like stuff out of RDHKs like the Pulse mm. and, and and in conversation. All right, we'll move on to our next topic. Now TVB <laughs> <laughs> with yeah. Hong Kong Yan and <laughs> Mainland Yan. <laughs> yes. Uh, right? They he have, has posted on, on your guy, you guys' fan page. You yes, can take a on look our at fan his page. <laughs> the Hong, uh, Hong Kong Yan My and wonderful h- sloppy on the bus handwriting. <laughs> um, Maybe they, you can write it and then sell it in the auction in the, from, from this uh, DAB annual party then they will get lots of donation hey, with this handwriting in hey, the art. I could probably grab $10 million for them with this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I believe so. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But it's money for the party. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> Anyways, uh, there was a, a program on July 27th and the – TVB's drama name was Shades of Life. Is it was, was the Cantonese name? Do you guys know? Tong Gan San. Uh, or you mean the whole program, or just the, the name episode? of the program? Yeah. Oh, Moon Dai Tin Hong. The program oh, yeah. is called Oh Moon Dai Tin Hong. Okay. Our sky. Well, here it says Shades of Life. 
Uh, from EJ Insight. Oh, they always have different names in okay. English and Chinese. Yeah, all right. And the episode was called uh, Same Root. Tong Gan Sang. Oh, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> what she said. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, in that episode, they had a mainland... Yan. Uh, yan. <laughs> <laughs> they had a mainland... Yan. I think it was a mainland mother with her kid. Hmm. And then they were confronted in the street... Hmm. By a Hong Kong, uh, yeah. Hong Konger. <laughs> We're distracting. We cannot focus now. <laughs> and when you watch this episode, you're like, wh- what? I, what I got from it is saying that Hong Kongers bully uh, mainland immigrants. Stop it. <laughs> the mainland immigrants and uh, you know that we we're, we're rude. We're the ones that are not accepting. La 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 la. And of course. The communications authority, uh, the office, sorry, the office of the communications mm. authority got fifteen hundred viewer complaints yeah. because of this episode because it was considered very, very biased and whatever. I, I don't care free speech, but still, it did hit a cultural nerve with people saying, you know, what are you trying to say here? And, and in my opinion, I can see the pre programming to get it in people's minds that you you got to live with it. Stop being rude. But what does it say to Hong Kongers? You know, when this kind of stuff is on, what does it say to to us? Your mm. opinions? I I I haven't watched TVB since three years CCTVB. ago. CCTVB, no, sorry. CCTVB. <laughs> yeah, CCTVB. Well, with this kind of episode, I'm not surprised it's called CCTVB. I I actually think that if uh, we say that we shouldn't generalize uh, a particular group of people, then then the CCTVB shouldn't start generalize um, the Hong Kong people as exactly. Well. Yeah, if we are saying that we shouldn't generalize that. But you what? are the most <laughs> racist people here. Oh, what? very. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after this, sh- after this show, all I'm doing is just cussing out Chinese people day and night. <laughs> you caught us, Glacier. Um, no, I, I, I mean, really, Kiki is the most racist guy here. I just, I just like. Okay, you jokes. criticize Lee and criticize him. <laughs> we'll do, comment. We'll do an uncensored show one day where we'll really tell each other how we feel. <laughs> Why? Yeah, but I, that, no. But getting back to this, I mean, uh, you know, it says that from EJ Insight, this the episode also tries to convince viewers that new immigrants are key to Hong Kong's future for injecting much needed youth in the city. And I agree, our birth rate is way too low. We're not replacing ourselves; we're killing ourselves because we're not replacing. You know, I hope you do better. What does that we mean? We count on you. We count on me. <laughs> yeah. Why not you? <laughs> He's not <laughs> willing to have children. I can adopt. I you can adopt. <laughs> yeah. Right. Can you? Oh, I find a surrogate mother from Thailand. There you go. I don't care. There's solutions. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know? Okay, we need, uh, literally, yeah. we need 2.2 people But he's average. allergic to kids. Oh, yeah. He could do. When you mentioned the, that. I work. love kids. Um, I no. think he hates doing program with us both. He can send you alone, but he can send both of oh, us yeah. here. Note to self, never invite Glacier to the... No, I'm joking. Uh, no, seriously. I mean, we, we, we need 2.2 kids to replace what... Our current population—that's the average. Don't you know? Don't come and say, "How do you say? How do you have two point two kids?" <laughs> no, it's an average, okay? Because, because you know, you might have one kid, but something could, God forbid, something happens, and then you know all that, right? Mm. I mean, I'm not saying do what Mao said, have like iron families of seven people. He started that, by the way. That's why there's an overpopulation. And suddenly mm. he says, "No one the guy's a, was a moron." And I'm just saying that. Um, they're right about that, but they're not right about showing that we're. Bu- and now, is this was this pre-programming for this new uh, amendment that they want to do? This consolidation I don't of know. the I mean, discrimination laws. Discrimination thing. I think right. It's just a coincidence that, that they put. A really? Show. I don't. I'm not really? quite sure about the intention why they. But I found it very that. funny. They said it's actually racist to discriminate against the new immigrants. How are they that, racist? That actually, that actually says that Hong Konger is a race. And then mainland yeah, so, is another race. Okay, but but they're saying we're not. The government says, uh, or sorry, the central authority says we we're are. Not. We are whole. That is why they have the amendment bill of these. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we cannot say that we are racist. And on our next show, we'll let you know where the uh, English um, public uh, consultation is going to happen. Tai Sheng. I'll give mm. you the time and and everything on the next show. I don't have the information on me mm. at the moment. I apologize. Uh, but um, you know, I. I if they're going to show this kind of stuff, show the other side. 
I show, I, 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 show, show the mainland yen about this this show. <laughs> they're gonna have they're gonna have what them po- <laughs> show them pooing in the streets, peeing in the streets, you know, cutting in line. I mean, I'm not saying that all of them do it, but I've experienced, you know, I'm trying, I'm standing in line for a lift, and then there's there's the space left for just myself. Or boom. Mainlander comes and gets in, gets the space. I dare it's not happening. Say that. I dare not say that. I would just say that that they, you know. I don't. S- you know what can I do? <laughs> in the future, I may be like taken away and arrested because I discriminated. Apparently, you know. <laughs> Clearly, Mainlander <laughs> because they were talking with their main friend in Putonghua. Right. And I'm not saying that in Putonghua too. They they're Singapore. They, Singapore also speak English. Mandarin and Taiwanese as well. Well, right. Singapore so they just chose nice. to speak it. Right. They what? can't speak Cantonese. Then let's practice our Putanghua, right? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just saying that, you know, the, the, you cannot just show one side of it, right? But you cannot show that uh, people peeing on the street. Uh, Why not? On TV. They're pooping on, <laughs> in, on... You don't have to show it. You can, you can yeah. show, like, you know, a, a wide shot. They're pooping in the sink. I, I, went, uh, I, I went to Ocean Park uh, f- uh, one week okay, ago. Okay, this, this is not a mainlander bashing show. Right? <laughs> I'm, yeah. just saying, I'm, just, I'm just saying that there are examples of... Bad behavior from both sides. This, yeah. this, this. I find this to be pre-programming for the upcoming I, I legislation. This, and this program is to tell us shame on us. You know. <laughs> yeah. I, I think this program is that they they using a very beautiful girl and to to portray yeah, 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 this as a mother. So nice. I like and, uh, that. She's okay. She's beautiful. <laughs> she's okay. One on the right or one on the left? The no, one on the on the right. She's, she's okay. Now Google, oh, she's and then beautiful. you will see the these uh, bikini. Am I gonna find? <laughs> you can find a what? <laughs> the bikini picture of her, then you always say that oh, hot. <laughs> she's hot. She's hot, really. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I mean, this. Am I gonna find like a video of her and like see through lingerie? <laughs> uh, probably TVB star. You don't know. You don't yeah, know. that's true. Is it another TVB star? Yeah. yeah so, uh, could be a coffee lamp thing. I, I think it's <laughs> violating the, the trade description ordinance because uh, po- when you look at this real people from you know where, then uh, they know don't where. know. <laughs> they don't really look like. The one on the on the TV. Then, all right, we got to move on uh, because we got a lot of topics going. We're just like using so, up all so the time. So the Hong Kong yen and the mainland yen the part finish. will will be will end now. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, Anti Occupy uh, Central's uh, signature campaign. C Y Lang and Carrie Lam actually signed. They now and isn't hmm. that completely against? You know, you're polarizing society some more by taking a side on this. This guy, I think, really likes to like stir up the opposition to show yeah. himself to be some kind of strong man. I, I think we, before 1997, we all, all we always been told that the, the civil servants they should always be be neutral. But now, what about, they, and, and what about cops saying that? Uh, they, they said they always they should be neutral as well. They 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 shouldn't take sides. But on their off time, aren't they just you know regular citizens? If they want to sign, they can't it, they go can. on pro protests or marches or things like that. They can't. Okay, so if they can't do that, right? Then they mm. shouldn't be signing this either. But they were very vague at the press conference. Mm. They they had I think they, they just cited co- the basic law. <laughs> they had the co op practice uh, uh, saying that they they shouldn't be uh, participating in any political activities. Right, but what are they going to do? Check the names and the ID cards to uh, cross reference with the police database? I doubt it. I don't believe they would check it at all. That's true. See, that's the thing. The, the in the uh, it, 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 I was reading today in the SCMP with Ro- Robert Chow. Man, that guy is really disingenuous sometimes. Um, He's saying that uh, they have an online platform hmm. to sign for overseas people, but we have no mechanism to make sure that multiple or duplicate. The same accusation he made for the uh, hmm. Occupy Central referendum, he's saying that... Yes, we can do that too. We, we, <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> sort of. He's saying that it won't happen because our cause is more noble, quote unquote. Well, uh, well. So what, what, the other cause is ignoble? <laughs> yeah, because of what... Why, accusing- what makes them so self-righteous? Because they are assuming that uh, uh, Occupy Central because they are, pro, uh, they are uh, pro I'm so s- yeah. so they're so <laughs> I'm so yeah, sick okay. of hearing that that every time all Occupy Central uh, happens you know we're gonna have like riots and, and chaos in the streets and you know animals will release from the zoo and everything yeah. will be like going nuts I mean they're saying everything will be affected by Occupy Central mm. next thing you know they'll be saying oh flights will just stop because of Occupy Central why? because they're afraid to take off because yes. somebody might be sitting on a runway and that's why I we mean, have no birth weight because people are too scared and they, 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 won't, they won't have because, sex because of the people standing inside what? <laughs> Occupy 
<laughs> occupying Century MTR had to, has to broke down again. Yeah, MTR broke down, bring more damage than the occupying yeah, exactly. Central. MTR shutting down for six hours on the West Rail Line is more damaging than the <laughs> Occupy Central for about half a day. <laughs> yes, this is such BS coming out from the other side. The thing is, they're fear mongering people who are not informed, who are not educated from videos I've seen online where old people are signing it, and then when they're explaining what it's about, they're like, yeah. "Aya, I should have yeah. signed that." Oh, you you watched that video? Yes, I did watch that video. I posted it on the Facebook page. Oh, I see. All right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, They're yeah. like, oh, basically, oh, sh- I shouldn't have... Uh, oh, beep him. Beep him. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have uh, uh, signed that because then they figure out what it's about. Mm. You see, and then you know maybe he didn't get. It. But it also reflects that like, quite a lot of Hong Kong people they they when they see that oh anti violence and oh, peace hey, anti violence they, they, we will sign they, anyway. Yes. They, they really Occupy Central is anti violence. Uh, but it's, uh, but it says Occupy Central. I guarantee there are going to be agent provocateurs. If there's going to be an Occupy Central, there'll be people we don't know where they're going to be from who are going mm. to start crap up. I guarantee it. I guarantee somebody will be in there because 10,000 people plus, mm. how are you going to control each person, right? I just hope when they see other people starting chaos, they stop them immediately, mm. get the cops to tell them to take them away right now because they're not part yeah, of they, us. The, the, the cop would take them The them cop, away. it could be cops. It could be cops <laughs> exactly. in there doing it because they've been caught in other countries doing it. Yeah, and even here in protests, they've been caught in the crowd, yeah. undercover, uh, you yes, know. Without, without their. Without yeah. their badge, which yeah. is against the law, you know. Mm. So watch out for for that. Seriously, I, I'm really afraid that some agent provocateur is going to come in there and just, you know, start start start, start riots <laughs> or I, try I, at least. I'm quite sure that they will. They usually they always use that always kind of always tactics. around but the world. Actually, time. occupying central is actually with peace enough. I I don't, I don't believe that is <laughs> possible. It's it's gonna be a ri- I don't know, but yeah. Once they see ten thousand people, thing you think cops are just going to be yeah, ten- go have a seat. <laughs> mm. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. You think they'll let them? No. No. They'll block them. Well, they'll try. They got sound cannons. They got uh, other other means to stop uh, j- large crowds from forming like that. So don't be surprised if the, suddenly LRADs come out and, you know, you're you're, you're being deafened. Maybe tanks. <laughs> that's APCs the coming out. <laughs> P- that's PLA thing. Yeah. Mm, mm. We don't have them yet if for the police so force. control, maybe... Army? Yeah, I, I I just see that sometimes uh, could I happen. See why land is that crazy? Could happen. Uh, I mean, didn't Henry a... Tang accuse him during yes, one yes, of the yes, yes. yeah uh, one of the uh, they were sent out election the forms the anti riot squad when two thousand three. It's the first time I think Henry Tang is actually an honorable man. It's the first time. <laughs> I'm, wow. In two thousand three, he said some background here. He, he, in two thousand three, Henry Tang, uh, sorry. In the last CE election debate, hmm. Henry Tang said that in the 2003 uh, massive protest against the Article 23 uh, national security legislation, he said that C.Y. Leung, as an executive counselor, said we should get the army to come in and, and do uh, do crowd control. Yes, no, send no, an no, army. Uh, not the, army the, the, the anti-riot uh, squad of, of the police to, to do oh, that. Oh, the anti oh, – okay. My, so, but basically what C.Y. Leung has already sent out to the yes, anti-riot uh, in the, squad. Yes, in the, in the, at the night of the 1st of July, the uh-huh. people sitting in Cheddar Street – yeah. He actually sent out those anti riot squad. Right. Yeah. And, and and what happened? And Nothing. and, f- and Nothing. around two hundred, something, uh, uh, five hundred, two hundred something mm. people got arrested, and then they were thrown at the. Wang Chu Yes, yeah. Yeah. Wang Chu But uh, that, uh, that also proves that he won and um, um, keep his word. Then, uh, yes, he's a man of his word. Yeah, exactly. I think <laughs> Occupy Central is bound to happen because there's been no progress in the meetings with Carrie Lam. That she's just taking a hard line stance. She just you wants say, to no, get. No, we don't have that. I think she just wants 2017 to come. Let it be over. She's off to England and with her family, and that's the end of that. Bye-bye. She collects a she collects a big fat ch- pay- paycheck and probably has a pension. I yeah, think and afterwards. And, 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 and Robert, Robert Chow, Robert Chow also has this uh, um, red label in UK as well. And oh no, he just he just. Gave it up, didn't he? He said he will. Oh, Has okay. he? I saw a photo no, of him. He, he, he had not 
I think. Not yet. Not yet. But before that, uh, people say uh, accusing him having this uh, right double standard in UK, and then he said he was one of those elite families that got a UK passport when yeah. the handover happened. He said he could. He, it's not possible to 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 de- to cancel the the nationality of BS. UK. And then the UK embassy, BS. embassies clarified that of course you can they just need to fill a form. Right, because uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, Audrey Yu did that. She mm. gave up her British passport and got a SAR uh-huh. passport and ran for legislative council. And Erica Yoon as well gave up the uh, U.S. citizenship. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She That's did a hard uh, process. Last, last year. Uh, last and got election. a SAR passport? Yeah. I guess she's going to run for Let's Go, right? Mm. Mm. Um, finally, uh, for Hong Kong news, we got uh, Ng Lung Sing giving himself high marks. Yay! 60 to 80 marks. 60 to 80 percent. Uh, he got, you know, he gave himself He's for his... full fault. <laughs> <laughs> it gave himself a, a, a more than passing mark for his performance as finance committee chairman. It's now, like I said on the, hell. <laughs> like I said on the Facebook page, it's like masturbating, yeah. having an orgasm, <laughs> telling everybody how great it was. So therefore, it was good for you too. <laughs> that's how I compare it. It's it's so self. That's a, that's a very vivid. <laughs> yes. okay, uh, don't say it because a, I'm imagining him masturbating uh-huh. now. It's a bad my metaphor. Head. <laughs> oh my that's God. for uh, mocking me with my Chinese writing. <laughs> that's what you get. An image of him. All right. <laughs> No, but it's just silly giving yourself such a march the way you when behave. When people trying to break, break through the walls of the electrical? <laughs> I don't think you're doing a good job if people are trying to break into the meeting. And the, gla- the, and the wall is actually broken. There is a yeah. hole. <laughs> there is There's a hole. <laughs> and now they're trying to build like a moat and and towers and sniper rifles around <laughs> yeah. let's go because and rivers and crocodiles in yeah. there because they're so afraid of the public once you know that happens the government's afraid of the people you know they're they're doing something bad they're trying mm. to like you know so I, I think themselves. he's actually trying to get one more time of this shame of shame on your prize could he's a nominated <laughs> yeah, them tvb I mean, they got we got some and RTHK. We got some good nominees this week sure. for the Shame on You Award, <laughs> which we give out at the end of the show. Um, and fine, and and we'll move on to China. I guess the biggest news is that uh, this 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 cor- so called corruption crackdown is happening. Chow Wing Hong is it about? Yeah, and that he was in the Politburo Standing Committee, the highest uh, you know position you can have in the Communist Party. It's seven people, mm. and. Basically, they run they run the country, and there was an unwritten rule where you do not prosecute during or after serving on yeah. the Politburo Standing Committee uh, for anything. Basically, scot free. Xi Jinping went after him. Yeah. Last year, he was arrested. Nobody knew exactly what's going on, but they just said that yeah, he's being prosecuted for you something know, dereliction of you know whatever. They, but it's really corruption. He has $14 billion wealth. Wow. And has sex US. with 400 uh, girls. Really? Where did that come uh, from? Uh, from the news uh, uh, alleging that uh, he... Alleging. Why can why yeah. he only focus on this, this kind yeah, of Yeah, man. How do you like the gossip? This is not... Don't care about This is not like, uh, you know, uh, a, a triple X on Hong Kong. This is, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is current affairs. But he's very juicy. <laughs> <laughs> He's very juicy. <laughs> the he, news. Oh, the, the news. Oh, oh, oh okay. Juicy. I was like, wait, oh. <laughs> this is good. This where, is... where does your standard of beauty come from? <laughs> this show has gotten out of control. <laughs> and I, I, and I just Next thought I about know, if, if you have him, don't don't invite me. <laughs> All right, I make a good note of that. <laughs> I just thought about my, imagine masturbating. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You should see you the reaction me. outside. Look at the reaction outside. <laughs> you make me. <laughs> your fault. <laughs> Leo is frowning. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm trying to get through this. Um, yeah. Now, now, th- throwing this guy out, all right, mm. in, in the, the slammer. Now, or he could be put to death, but we're not sure. Or he could have a really nice vacation. But the thing is, is that with Xi Jinping going after him and other mm. official corrupt, so-called corrupt officials, is this a power play? Or, I think it's more than the, yeah, yeah. it's more. Or power is this play. really cleaning up the Communist I don't Party? Think so. so he has to clean up himself first. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> he has to clean up first. Quite right. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's true. But when you don't have rule of law, you don't have an independent corruption yeah. committee. Then it's like a power this. play. Uh, it's but, a power struggle, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because mm-hmm. uh, from. What's the name of this guy? Chow 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 Wing Hong. Chow Wing Hong. Chow Wing Kong. 
and he's he belongs to a Jiang Zemin uh, group, and uh, yeah, Xi Jinping but he, belongs apparently, to another group. Apparently, Xi Jinping asked Jiang Zemin to go after him, got his permission, and then went after him. Because Mr. Gang is the big guy in in, in the it's, party. Yeah, he's. It seems that he's still playing behind the the scene. But why go after him? Maybe mm. he's, be, he's he's and all these other officials. He does not like them. <laughs> Do you know what I see? <laughs> ugly. Okay, like from you know, I think that Xi Jinping is doing a lot of things at once. It's multi-layered chess, as I say. Mm. One, he is going after people that he cannot trust, yes, or going yes. after people that he, he, he that fears that can somehow go after him afterwards or during or whatever. So like he's going the, after them first. Like the Sichuan Bo Bo Xi Lai. Bo Xi Lai, yeah, Xilai. yeah, who was who was like close with uh, Xiao Yong Kang or yeah, uh, Mandarin amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just reading the Anglified version here, okay. Um, and he's going after all these people mm. to clean it out, so he has no 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 real opposition to him. So because because the whole CCP is all about power plays, it's not really like you know any other political any other in yeah. But have you uh, I. Because I like gossip, so I only <laughs> read about the gossip part of, of this news. And then uh, they think that uh, <laughs> C. Y. Lan actually got support from from Zhao Wing Zhao Yong Khan. Now that's just a rumor, so we yeah, can't so, substantiate uh, it. Yeah, that's quite, just totally a rumor. But my, my point is, he's doing that. At the second time, he is trying to clean up the CCP because there is a threat of the people getting angry at the CCP for this rampant corruption all the time that people are being caught on. Now they're going after people siphon off of public funds, embezzlement. Mm-hmm. All right? That's the next level. He's really trying to clean it up so that the people don't get angry because he sees an economic slowdown coming in the next five years. Once that economic slowdown happens, people are out of jobs, people get pissed, people want to change. And people want you dead. And people want you dead. <laughs> And then you have a police state going on now with uh, using the threat of terrorism. So you have cops every 20 meters. You see? Multi-layered stuff is going on at once. He's clever. Very clever. This guy is smart. I have to give it to him. He's not a dumbass in there. Seriously, he's not. He knows how to consolidate his power to keep it. The, 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 I think the impact to Hong Kong is that they, we will not get the uh, universal suffrage. No, I, 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 as far as I can tell, Xi Jinping is a very hard liner. Mm. I mean, he puts in, pe- throws people, activists in jail for pointing out corruption. You see? Now, he, he doesn't want those people out in the open because they can trigger something bigger. Mm. So they throw them in jail now. So they're going to have a hard line stance so, most so likely here. So he wants here. to clean up those corruption that he does not like. He's out genuinely cleaning up the corruption. At the same, he's genuinely doing it. At the same time, getting rid of people that he doesn't trust or it, like. It looks like he using that as a, as an excuse to me. It is an excuse to get rid of those people that he doesn't like. At the same time, he's going after people who are doing corruption. Mm. That's why there's a big time retail slowdown because nobody's buying quote unquote oh, gifts. Right, 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 right. Oh, good. Yeah. I, I, there's less Ming Wen Yan in the, the Hong Kong streets. Gao <laughs> 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 uh, Chuan. Uh, no, seriously, that there's there's a slowdown because of that. Mm. Wine market's collapsing in China because nobody's buying it anymore. Wow. Yeah, there are three, four years of stock that are unsold over there right now. Oopsie. Yeah, it's getting pretty bad for 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 a lot of people that relied so on this luxury market. So people going crazy and mad and want him dead. Not yet. Um, I'm looking forward to that. That's why he's he's got the po- he's he he he's got, so desperate. He's got the PLA under his his thumb now. Right. Like they pledged loyalty to him multiple times. Mm. He's the chairman of it. I mean, this guy is really trying to like make sure that there's no no way that he can be toppled at all but from the people or from within. Well, he's a real politician. He's a real strong man. Yeah, he's only centralized all the powers within so within such a short period of time. Actually. Damn fast, twenty yeah. months, I think it is twenty months, and he's and doing he's it. Cleaning he's out like a lot like of guys. Right, he's now like Putin. 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 Wow, far the away. thing with Putin <laughs> but is, but Putin is more and more. It has more charisma b- compared with C. Nicer body. Uh, That's what you focus on. On what I focus on. <laughs> we <laughs> he got wants to leave now. The the thing with Putin is at, at, at least you know the, there's still a little bit allowed some voice of opposition. This is like China's like zero. Now, right. What did they do today? <laughs> oh yeah, they, they did have a, a stupid law that basically saying if you're a blogger, you have to give your real name out. I mean, it's starting to happen really slowly that from what 
happen after the collapse of the Soviet Union. We, you know, we really hope that Russia would be free. But then at the same time, they're also facing a lot of external uh, pressure from, you know, accusations uh, here and there while the other side is doing the same thing with other groups. I mean, there's a lot of geopolitical stuff going mm-hmm. on. But yes, uh, this is bad for everybody. When, when, you have, when you have these strong mans consolidating power like this, once they feel that their power is about to collapse or they have a real threat, they start something radical like a war, the cultural revolution or some nonsense like that. So yes, yes, that's yes, why yes. they I love fighting right now with Japan. They love fighting with Japan right now because it's a great distraction from what's going on in in the country. Let's say there is a real chance of the CCP being toppled. What do you do? You start a war with Japan. I, I think they, they're starting troubles with all countries in right. Asia. Right. You <laughs> want to. You want to. You want to do this to keep people distracted, to keep that nationalism going, and to keep people waving that five-star flag. Yeah, even if they're starving. <laughs> even if they're starving, doesn't matter. You, it's, the, the, it's the extreme nationalism thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I exactly. Don't like it. Japan's yeah. doing it too. By 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 stirring shit up with, bleep that. <laughs> by stirring stuff up with, uh, by stirring stuff did, up did with. Did they push him too far? <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I think we did. By stirring stuff up with uh, with uh, J- uh, with China because their economy is stagnant. Twenty years, mm. no growth, nothing. Birth rate is is worse. They didn't start war at least. Then, but they, they, they just changed war. their constitution to to be oh, more. They are, they are Yudao, yeah. Senkaku Island, Senkaku Whatever belongs to Japan. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not going to get into that. My point is, they're all trying. They're, they're, war is a great distraction. That's why North Korea is still around. It's a great distraction. No, you, they they just uh, they just entered. They just uh, launched a rocket to the sun and say they succeed. They actually say that. And they said they won the Olympics. Something. Uh, what North Korea? <laughs> yes. North Korea is psycho. <laughs> they can say they can they, they can say the sun didn't come out. And people would actually believe that over yeah. there because they the worship the party that. But well, they don't know anything else. So wouldn't you worship that? Anyways. Point is, is that <laughs> this is a massive power play. And if he's going after naked officials, why isn't he going after CY Leon, Carrie Lam, and John Jung? Because mm. technically all their families are overseas. Yeah. That's kind of. Oh, yeah. One country, two systems. But they I love guess. Con- love Hong Kong, love country. <laughs> love, con- love Hong Kong, love country until you're attacking, you got to get out. Mm. All right. So that's the end of the show. Thank you again, Glacier, for being on the show. Shame on you. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm going to get to that. Don't worry. I know that's your yeah. favorite part of the show. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we got we got three nominees. Mm-hmm. We got Lung Sang. Sang. We got RDHK and TVB. Has he been the second? The second. He would be the first first person to win it twice. Wow. I feel for Lung Sang. Yeah. <laughs> Since we're three people, we can. Mm, very difficult to choose, actually. From TVB. I vote RTHK, actually, because you know I so don't. So what if we fall for TVB? Then we don't have a winner. Because TVB will eventually get one anyway. <laughs> no, 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 no. For something worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who do you vote for? In Lun Singh, RDHK, or TVB? RDHK, I go for. Yeah? Or, yeah. So, <laughs> That's like, shame congratulations, like Radio Hong Kong Television. What's the K for? Con. <laughs> Con. Really? <laughs> RTH. Really? Yeah. That's ridiculous. HK. Oh, geez. I got the acronym RTHK Radio Hong Kong. Radio, Radio Television Hong Kong. Kong. Wow. What? <laughs> you guys have really thrown me off today. No, seriously. All right. So, RTHK, congratulations. You have just received the Shame. Shame on you. Award. And that's the end of the show. So, Glacier, again, thank you for being here. Thank you. Hopefully, you will come back again in the future. Yeah. Oh God! If really? I'm not here. <laughs> when I'm not here. When he's not here, I hope you can sit in or okay. something. No, no. If you have anything coming up uh, that you want to get out with this legislation and government, please okay. you know, come back and you can discuss it and hopefully it's rally fun. some support. It's really Again, fun today. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad you had fun. It's Again, fun. it's keyboard frontline. Yes. Uh, you can please find them on Facebook. Please donate. Please donate. <laughs> please, please check out their work. It's really good. Get some English stuff up there. Okay. Uh, and donate first. <laughs> donate first, and you'll see it. All right. And that's the end of the show. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.